Okay, for the first one, we already have the two images here. We're going to go into video transitions under the effects and find the cross dissolve effect. We're going to add these here and we're going to go into it. Here we can actually ungroup these and we're going to go and change the dissolve modifier to cu the curve to custom. Here we're going to add a point right in the middle and we're going to put the values of 0.5 and 1. Then with these selected, we're going to go to the spline tool and we're going to press these right here. Step in. That way it's going to change right here in the middle. Next, we're going to press control space bar and add a transform node. Here we're going to go to the size and right click modify with. We're going to go to the modifiers, change the curve to customs. Here, we're going to change the scale to 2. And we're going to set this point to be at 0.5 and the other one 2. Now, we're going to create two points here. Doesn't matter. We're going to put these at 0.5 and then 1. And we're going to put the other one at 0.5 and then 0. With these two right there, we're going to press Ctrl A. We're going to press F. And we're going to hold shift to adjust the points individually. After you have that ready, go to tools and then edges, change that to mirror or wrap, whichever you like the most. And now you have your zoom transition. The last touch is to go to settings and add a motion blur. And now you have your zoom transition with motion blur. Now, if you don't want it to be that small here, you can actually go to the modifiers and adjust these by changing the height, making it shorter. And now the second image is going to be a little bit closer to the screen. If you want to create a zoom out transition, the only thing that you need to do here is go and invert this curve. And now you would have a zoom out transition. And that's how we covered two transitions in one. You might have noticed that there's no mouse pointer on the previous section. Now I fix that and you should be able to see the pointer on the next transitions. Let's continue. Okay, I turned the mouse display now so we can work this more easily. Now we are going to add again across this all for these and we're going to go into it. And here we're going to go and change the curve again. The same thing that we did on the previous one. We're going to change this to 0.5 and then 1. We're going to select everything, go to the spline and then change these to this view. After we have that set up, what we need to do next is we're going to add a background node. Just click there if you want to. And we can actually change the color of these right here. And we're going to add a transform node. Here in this transform node, we're going to change the pivot point to 0 and 0. So it's right here. And now we can actually animate the angle. For that, we're going to right click and then modify with anim curves. And here we're going to start these at 90. And we're going to set this scale to be at negative 180. Now we want to have a pause there. So we're going to change the curve to customs here. We're going to create two points. And then on this point, we're going to set this up at 0.4 and then 0.5. Then we're going to change these to 0.7 and 0.5. And we can now press F on everything. And then that will create that little pause that we have right there. And then it will continue with the next image. The next part here is to press control and spacebar again and add a text. And now this text, you can write whatever you want. Now the text is going to come there and then it goes out. Now you can also add a motion blur to these, go to settings and motion blur and then add the amount of blur that you want. A little quick break to mention that if you don't want to build transitions and animations, but you still want to use them, you can check out a few of my packs. I have titles pack and transitions pack, both paid and free on my website. Uh, you can also check out the mega bundle, which is a mix of all the packs that I have available. All right, let's go into the next transition. OK, now for the next transition, we're going to add the cross dissolve again and we can just do the same process. And on this transition, we're actually going to get rid of the animation. Next, we're going to add a rectangle here as a mask and we're going to increase the height to one. And we're going to position these at 0.25. Here we're going to animate these center with the XY path. And then here we're going to right click and we're going to remove the keyframe that we have here. And then we're going to right click again and then we're going to modify it with the anim curves. In the anim curves, we're going to change the curve to custom. We're going to go and press F right here with both selected. And we're going to change the offset to negative 0.5. After that, we're going to have that scrolling in and that will be the first part of this transition. Then we're going to 
copy and paste these and we're going to go to where this keyframe is for the x value and press 0.75 we want to change these to come from the top side so for that we're going to go and we're going to set the scale to minus one and we're going to offset these to 1.5 now if we look at these we'll have them sliding in and creating that transition if you want you can add motion blurs to these two but that is up to you now, one thing I'm not showing in this video is how you save these. So I do have another video covering that. So you can check out right here. And that is it for this quick break. Let's continue to the next transition. For this next transition, we're going to add a cross dissolve again, like we did on the previous ones. We're going to go into it. We're going to ungroup the cross dissolve and then we're going to change. And then we're going to change the curve from linear to custom. Select everything with control A and then press F. To make it a little bit smoother next thing we're going to do is we're going to press ctrl and spacebar and we're going to add a displace after that we're going to press ctrl and spacebar again and we're going to add a fast noise this time and we're going to connect these to the, the displace you can press two on the fast noise so we can see these and we're going to change the details increase these increase the contrast and it, the brightness if you want and you can actually just play around with the scale and make it however you want you can also increase the seeth rate so it's a little bit animated. And then the next thing is we're going to press control and spacebar again, and we're going to add a waviness effect. Now here we're going to press two on the waviness and we're going to change these from vertical to horizontal. If you don't want to, if you want to use vertical, you can do that too. Here we can play around with the strength. And if you don't want it to animate, just unclick these and then it's going to be just like normal, but it will still have the fast noise animation. Now here on the displays, what we're going to do is we're going to press two here on the media out. So we see everything. And here on the displays, we're going to animate the refraction. So it's going to go like that and then it's going to turn to normal. We're going to right click and go to modify with and anim curves here in anim curves. We're going to change the scale from two to one. Change the curve from linear to custom. We're going to add a point right here. I'm going to set this one to zero on the Y values. And we can actually increase this one all the way to one. Then we can press F. And if you want, you can adjust the curvature by holding shift when you see these points selected. That way it's a little bit more sharp or smoother. It's up to you how you want it. Then we can check this out. And we have this sort of distorted transition. I might have cheated with first two transitions, but Here's another one, just in case if you want to count this one as the fifth one or as a bonus as the sixth one. OK, so I might have cheated a little bit with the first two. So let me show you the last one right here, an extra or I guess you could count this as five if you want. And here I'm going to show you how to add or transform this zoom transition into a zoom rotation transition. And it's actually really simple. Just right click here where it says angle, modify with and then anim curves here. Go to modifier. We're going to change the curve from linear to customs and we're going to press Ctrl A and F and then we can just increase these by holding shift. And then if we look at this, we have the rotation and the zoom transition at the same time. Now that is it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you have any ideas or comments, let me know. Bye.